Hey friends, in this video I'll show you how to create soft UI elements in Adobe Experience Design tool. So as far as I know, most of you work in an Adobe Experience Design, so that's why this video will be exactly about this software. In the future I'll show you how to create this in Figma, Sketch, Photoshop, Illustrator, but today, yeah, it's Adobe XD. So let's get started. So first of all, um, well, let's start with another artboard. So I already created Soft UI Elements artboard. On this one, let's move it a little bit here. On this artboard, let's create a rectangle. It doesn't matter what shape do you create or what size of it, because I want to explain you the idea of it, not just how to follow step by step, but how to create Soft UI Elements. So I create a rectangle using these dots. I can change the radius corner. So I change it to this one. Um, what we'll do, we'll uh, switch out the border and we'll add shadow. Currently the feel of our element is white, but I'm gonna use the same color as the background. And this is a really important step because uh, we need to understand that if you want to create something uh, like soft, then the contrast between background and foreground should be really low. And for example, here we can show that the background is light and something, uh, there is something on this background which is also light. It can be a little bit lighter than the background because it's closer to ours. It means that it's closer to the light. But in this case, we will use absolutely the same color I don't know, it's just it will be easier to explain. Uh, so for the shadow, let's change this position to, for example, 30, 30, 60. Um, usually I use these parameters for blur. Blur is usually, when I walk, is uh, twice bigger than the XY position. Uh, in this case, I use 30, 30, 60. Why 30? Because our shape is pretty big and um, I want to show that uh, the, the distance from the background of this shape is, is not so big, but big enough to see this difference. And uh, the only thing that we need to change also is the color of the shadow. Uh, sometimes I use uh, black shadows, but um, really rarely, like in like 0.0005% of cases. In this case, I want to change this background color, uh, not background color, shadow color to something um, like a little bit of blue, blue on it, because usually shadows have a little bit of blue or purple color um, in it. So another thing what we can do, is you can see Adobe X XD doesn't support multiple shadows and it doesn't support inner shadows at all, but uh, let's talk about drop shadows now. It doesn't support multiple of them. So how we can create um, these soft UI elements uh, here is by basically by, we'll just duplicate this element, boom, done, and we will change the shadow to white. And another thing that we will do, we will change the opacity of this shadow to 100%. And also the direction of it will be minus 30, minus 30. And done. And as you can see, if I'll show it here, now you have this soft UI element, uh, which shows you, which shows you that there is an element that part of this background, but at the same time, it's a little bit different. We added volume to it. And the reason why I use shadows here, like minus 30, minus 30, and here 30, 30, is, uh, oh yeah, on the background layer, 30, 30 here, is, it means that the direction of the light goes from the top left corner under 45 degrees. If I'll drop the line here, like from the top left corner to the right bottom, uh, you will see that it will be 45 degrees. And in this case, the shadow drops here, not the shadow, the light goes from here 
then it reflects from this shadow or from this shape and then it drops down on the other side. In this case, we see that this is the reflection, this is the drop shadow. And of course, um, I would add a little bit of more, just maybe I would add um, inner shadow here, but if Adobe Experience Design tool doesn't support that, maybe let's play with a fill color. For this one, let's try to use uh, linear gradient and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this color to the background color and this one to the background color as well uh, nothing changed right uh, but another thing that I'm gonna do I'm gonna do this color a little bit lighter I work with uh, hue saturation brightness uh, color system and I'll add here instead of for brightness instead of 98 I'll create 99 now this corner is a little bit lighter and for this corner uh, instead of 98 I'll use 97 to make it a little bit darker and now if we'll take a look at this uh, UI element now this color is closer to this one and this color is closer to this shadow to this reflection and it makes this element even more soft, even softer. So that's why you can play with it. Now let's group it together. And now we have a group. It's a group, but basically it's just kind of like one element. Uh, the only problem with experience design is that now I need to, uh, for example, if I want to um, change this shape to something else, uh, to, for example, circle, uh, I need to change both elements here. But anyway, you can use it for buttons, for for anything else that you, you decide is it's useful for. So thank you guys for watching this video. Subscribe to the channel. Um, smash the like button if you really like this video. Uh, and yeah, probably you already follow me on Instagram and probably you came here from the Instagram. But anyway, subscribe, like, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.